After delaying its launch by a day, Blue Origin is all set to send another group of civilians into the great beyond tomorrow morning. Four would-be astronauts, including the great actor, William Shatner, will spend a whopping 10 minutes in space. Blue Origin says its astronauts are trained and ready to go. The only thing that can hold the launch back even further is the weather, and that's acting up. So joining us for this uh, on our, is our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez. Gio, we were setting up, uh, we heard you guys setting up, we heard things blowing around uh, down there. <laughs> so you've been covering Blue Origin for some yeah. time now. Uh, you were there in July uh, in Van Horn, Texas, when Jeff Bezos flew up to space himself. So Blue Origin's at it again. So what's going on with the launch now? So right now, you mentioned that wind. That's what we're seeing. In fact, if you could just see this tent we're under right now, everybody's just holding on. I don't know what's going on with my hair because the wind is really, really gusty. And this is exactly why they said, you know what? We're not going to go ahead and launch this today. And so they pushed it back by a day to tomorrow. Uh, but still, there are some overnight winds. And if you look behind me, the rocket is not there. And that's because they haven't yet rolled it out to the launch pad. They're going to do that overnight after those winds calm down just a little bit uh, so it's been delayed just a little bit so right now we're looking at 10 a.m. Eastern but once that gets up in the air it's just 11 minutes there to the edge of space uh, he'll spend about four minutes in weightlessness floating in zero gravity he said that he's gonna be you know looking out the window and and hoping that there's no gremlins out there um, but no doubt about it he should be back uh, if it launches at 10 a.m. he should be back on Earth by 10 11 a.m. and we're gonna cover it all right here on ABC News Live, so you're going to be able to see it. Yes, we will. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be engaging. And we're talking about Captain James T. Kirk, successfully guided the USS Enterprise for years on Star Trek. He's already been to space. Of course, we're talking. Yeah, I mean, this is like old hat for him. Come on. We're talking about William Shatner, of course. And now at the age of 90, he's going to set a world record as the oldest person in space. I'd love to know what he thinks about being the oldest person in space. Blue Origin released a promotional video uh, with Shatner expressing his excitement about the journey. Here's a little piece of it. There is an adventure in my life that I would not have had had I not done this. And it looks like there's a great deal of curiosity about this fictional character, Captain Kirk, going into space. So let's go along with it and enjoy the ride. <laughs> All right, Gio, so what's the inside <laughs> scoop? How did Blue Origin get William Shatner, Captain Kirk? It's perfect. It writes itself. It is so perfect. It really is so perfect. Uh, but you know what? We wondered, like, did he call them up and say, hey, beam me up, Scotty? Like, what did he say? But it turns out that Blue Origin actually called him and offered him uh, the seat on this flight. There are two paying customers on this flight. Uh, there's also a Blue Origin employee who's going to be on there who's been uh, involved in, in the process of, of getting this uh, whole program going. Um, so it's obviously it's something that uh, it's to get a lot of attention, right? No doubt about it. Um, having William Shatner on there, Captain Kirk himself. But, you know, it's funny because he was telling T.J. Holmes yesterday on GMA, uh, T.J. said, you know, do people call you Captain Kirk a lot? And, and he says, wait a minute, I haven't heard the name Shatner in years. Climbing into the capsule, he's pretty spry for 90 year, years old. He looks, like, he looks like he's in shape for it. So, uh, and you also mentioned paying customers. So the space race has changed, hasn't it? Changed drastically. Civilians training to pay and paying to head into space. Russia's got a film crew uh, in space right now. Tom Cruise is talking about making a movie in space. Some people criticize that. They're saying it's kind of the plaything of the rich right now. Uh, but what do you think about where the space race or the space uh, exploration, the adventure of space is going? Look, experts basically say, you know how planes started and the aviation industry started? This is how this is basically going to start. Obviously, we're talking about a lot more money than what the first plane tickets cost, okay? We're talking about millions of dollars here. It's a very different situation. Uh, but in this case, space travel is very expensive, and it needs to be funded right now 
by the rich. And what they're saying is, you know, these aren't just joy rides. At least this is what these companies are saying. These aren't just joy rides for the rich. This is something that could lead to so much more. Of course, Richard Branson has Virgin Galactic. We saw his launch. Uh, that could lead to more science. A lot of uh, organizations and universities have actually said, we want this. We want this to work out because if we can get four minutes in zero gravity to send experiments up there, we can study so much more uh, at a much lower cost than sending something, for example, to the International Space Station. Because a lot of these research groups don't necessarily need all of that time in space, and four minutes might be just enough for them. Uh, so they're looking at this with the science potential and the research potential and what this could mean for humans here on Earth. Jeff Bezos said that he wanted to start this company so that humans could really understand what was going on on planet Earth and what was happening to planet Earth so that we could protect planet Earth. He does not have these visions of sending us to another planet. Of course, though, Elon Musk over at SpaceX, he very much wants to establish a whole other colony on Mars. And it will happen. You know it will. Uh, a great adventure and with social benefits as well. Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez, thanks very much. And we'll see you when we have full coverage of the Blue Origin launch tomorrow right here on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.